Hi, welcome to the Remote Chiefs channel on the YouTube network. Today, I have a tutorial on how to fix your phantom if when you're going to the left or to the right, your entire frame of video is actually doing the same thing. Your gimbal isn't working properly and you're not getting perfectly nice smooth video. Something is happening. What is it? Let me tell you right now. Watch my channel, watch this video. You're gonna learn a lot. Check it out. I bought a brand new DJI Phantom 3 Professional. I had it for three weeks and it was working awesome. I then went and did the update because I like to do the updates as soon as possible. That's just me. I didn't read any forums and I didn't check anything, but now I did and I know a lot more. I went to fly a few days later, didn't think anything of it, and I took my Phantom up at the beach and it was a beautiful, awesome day, and I was getting some really good shots. But one time I went to track a surfer as he walked by and I noticed that when I went to the left, something happened with the camera. I took some other shots at the beach, if you want to see here, and for some reason, while my drone was being, I had, you know, I had the transmitter in my hand, and I was either going to the right or to the left with the right joystick, and that would make the drone do this or that. And when it was doing that, my footage was actually tilting diagonally, completely, and not being smooth. The gimbal wasn't working properly. I thought my drone was broken. I thought something was wrong with it, maybe sand got into it. I thought it wasn't working properly and I was gonna have to fix it. But no, that's not the case. And what I'm finding is, right after an update, it seems to do something with the communication with the IMU. That's right, the IMU, the Inertia Measurement Unit. And what happens is something gets off there when you do the update and you're gonna have to always, after an update, recalibrate your IMU. After you recalibrate your IMU, also calibrate your gimbal, and you should have no issues at all once you do these two things. Let me show you how to go into the app and how to calibrate your gimbal and how to calibrate your IMU. There's also another thing you should do when you calibrate the IMU, and I wanna tell you the details now. Subscribe right here in your bottom right hand corner. Just hit that little button, that's all you gotta do. Check it out. Okay, let's fix the problem. The first thing you're gonna do is turn on your transmitter. Then turn on the drone. You may be wondering, you may be wondering, how does he have a gold DJI Phantom 3 Professional? This is a professional, folks, and it is gold. Check out the other videos in the comment section below where I had a crash and I was able to fix the drone by putting it in a new shell and I decided to spray paint it when I did that. So check that video out, it's very informative. So once the drone's on and the transmitter on, they're connected and get the app running and ready to go on your iPhone or iPad, whatever you're using. I'm using an iPad mini 2. And mine's gonna warm up a bit and I'm gonna explain why. It's because of the IMU. The temperature you calibrate your work. I'm ready to go. It's safe to fly. But this is very important. The temperature you calibrate your IMU is very important. The colder, the better. Why? Because the IMU has to warm up to the temperature of the air where you are when you begin to fly. So if you do it at a very cold temperature, it won't have to take a long time to warm up. But if you calibrate your IMU on an 80 degree day, like near a beach or in a very hot climate, and then you go somewhere where it's 50 or 60 degrees and you turn it on, it's gonna take a lot longer for your IMU to get ready. And every time you go to fly, it's gonna take longer for it to warm up. Because it's gonna have to get back up to the level that it was when you calibrated it at, even though it's 50 degrees outside. It's kind of confusing, but it's very important. Some people were putting their drones in the refrigerator and then calibrating. I do not suggest doing that by any means. What I did is, on like a night when it was about 45 degrees, I put this puppy out on the fire escape, I let it sit out there for a half an hour, and then I calibrated my IMU. But let me show you how to get into the app, where you can find it, and how to calibrate your IMU. So you don't have those shots anymore that are angled into the side and just don't look beautiful at all, even though you spent all this money on a really nice gimbal. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go up and you're gonna find how to get into the settings. There's a few different ways. One way is to find where you see a little transmitter on the screen and click on that. Then you're gonna see the quadcopter at the top, you're gonna hit that and go to the bottom and it says advanced settings and you're gonna hit advanced settings. Then you're gonna see sensors in the middle and you're gonna hit that. 
When you get the sensors, you're gonna see check IMU and IMU calibration. You're gonna hit the IMU calibration. Once you hit that, it's gonna go into IMU calibration mode. You'll see a bar and it will tell you when it's done. It takes between five and 15 minutes. Some people have said 15. I've never seen it take longer than about seven minutes. So put your transmitter down, let your drone sit on a perfectly even place. Make sure your drone is on a perfectly level surface. That's very important. So before you start the IMU, make sure it's on a perfectly level surface. Once that's done, you can leave that area, X out of there. Go back in though, and go to the gimbal, and hit gimbal auto calibration. Make sure that, the, again, that the drone is on a level surface, everything is okay, and hit okay to begin. You'll now see the gimbal do a little bit of a dance here and there. It'll take a second, and it'll do its thing. There's the dance I'm talking about. Side to side, up, down. And it says the gimbal calibration is complete on the screen. Now, if you look at the screen and you pick up your drone and you bring it to the right or to the left, you should have completely steady footage. No more should you ever see a diagonal horizon or when you move your drone to the right or to the left, should you see your image not completely smooth and stable. Thank you so much for watching. Please join the tribe and subscribe, the chief abides. There's many more tips down below if you look at my growing selection of videos from tips, tricks, mods, and reviews. Please feel free to help yourself to browse through the many different entertaining videos that I have to offer. Thanks again. Have a great day, the chief abides. And if you want to know how I have a gold phantom, keep watching my channel and you can see all the crazy experiences I go through and all the modifications I do in order to keep flying.